Welcome back to True Blue. We welcome into studio men's rugby coach from BYU, David Smith, and senior center Grant Barnes. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Coach, you came to BYU back in 1983 from Ireland. What about the BYU tradition drew you to this campus for rugby? Uh, it was just the opportunity to come to uh, a school and be able to play rugby and to get a good education. Um, it was well known at that time that they had a good program. I was interested in being a part of it, so came here in 1983. Well, it's certainly become such a competitive program in the nation. At the USA Rugby Collegiate Championships, you finished as runners-up the last two years in the top four the last four years. What is it that makes BYU such a competitive program? I think a lot's got to do with the athletes that we're able to uh, you know, use here at BYU on the team. Um, they've come from, some have played rugby in foreign countries, some have played you know, other traditional American sports. They're fairly focused, they're fairly uh, good athletes with a good level of ability, very teachable, and uh, we've got great support from the school. So when you put those things together, we're able to put a good product on the field. Now for you, Grant, you know, you're not here on a scholarship. This is purely for the love of the mm -hmm. game. You know, what is it about rugby that attracted you? It's not one of the mainstream sports here. Right, it's not. And I, I had considered maybe trying out for the football team or one of the more traditional sports. But um, the idea that, that rugby, you know, at, at first look wasn't maybe as time consuming was a, the, the first thing that drove me to it. But then when I began to play more and more and saw the level of of play that we actually do here at, at BYU, um, that's what really got me to s stick with it and keep going. For people who aren't familiar with the rules, I mean, sometimes we hear people joke about the rules or the scrum, but tell us something that, that the casual fan outside watching might need to learn about rugby to watch the sport. Well, rugby is a very technical game. If you look at it and not, not used to looking at it, it looks like uh, you know, some crazy game, guys just running around, but it's very technical. There's a lot of uh, technique and, and patterns and moves involved in it. It's sort of like, um, you know, if you really break it down, it's not a great analogy, but it is an analogy of it's, it's a cross between uh, football and soccer, whereas you've got to be able to use your hands to be able to pass and you've got to be able to use your feet to be able to kick and on top of that you've got to be able to run for for eighty minutes and be able to handle getting uh, physically abused a little bit well you know the last two years you were runners-up in the NCAA to Cal a very mm -hmm. storied program what's it going to take for you in your senior season for this team to get past Cal this year well like you said this is my last chance to uh, to win a national title and that definitely is our goal um, what it's going to take is hard work and uh, the team coming out every day to practice and putting in the hours that it's going to take um, to accomplish that goal. It's always been a preconceived idea of mine, I guess, and maybe other people's, that rugby players are tougher. Is that, <laughs> is that true or how do you feel about that statement? Well, of course, I'd like to think so. I've, I'm a little biased, though, towards rugby players. Um, but yeah, definitely we have to have a tenacity about us. Maybe be a little bit crazy to, to get out on the field without pads on and, and to be able to uh, take a licking but keep on going. Okay. Well, Coach, tell us a little bit. Friday night against the University of Utah, you're starting in the preseason. You already played Utah State or Utah Valley College and took care of them handily. But tell us what you expect Friday night against the University of Utah. Well, anytime you play Utah, you better come uh, ready. You know, they have a very good program as well, a lot of great players, uh, a good establishment up there. So. We're just going to expect this Friday what we've uh, gotten used to expect in the last four or five years, and that is, you know, a battle out there. It is the preseason for, for both of us. You know, we at BYU will we'll try a lot of different players. We'll look at some new patterns. Um, so it won't be like our Wasatch Cup game that will come up next semester, but it'll be a good test, and any time BYU and Utah meet on the field, it's, it's going to be fun. In any sport, it's That's always right. close. And for you, Grant, tell us a little bit about, it's going to be the preseason, you don't start your regular season until January, but Correct. what do you want to see from yourself and your teammates to start this process? Well, I'd like to see us come out and actually execute the plays that we've been practicing. And, and like Coach was saying, we've um, implemented a couple new, new plays and maybe new techniques, and so we'd like to see us out on the field um, perform those with precision. 
Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today and sharing a little bit more about the BYU rugby program. A national power, is it fair to call it that? <laughs> well, we'd like to be known as a national power. All right. Well, thank you very much, and you've certainly done that in the championships in the past.